pretty focused on skiing and I'm pretty driven to be out there every single powder day making as many amazing turns with good friends as possible. You're kind of chasing winter all the time and you're traveling and spending a lot of time on the road, but I think my favorite place is definitely being home. I was born and raised in Lake Tahoe. It's a place where you can experience the outdoors to its fullest potential, I think, and it's been a really great training ground for me in my sport. We're excited to go biking. It's beautiful. Biking started out as like a new way of exploring my home. I've lived here for most of my life and I was like, wow, this is like Tahoe is reinvented for me. Like my playground just got really expansive within, I don't know, a few hundred feet I'm on dirt and it's just like this endless playground. Mid-morning, riding lots of bikes, having lots of fun. I think mountain biking is like so similar to skiing actually. It's just like very reactive. You're making these split second decisions and choosing your line and then the air time feels really similar as well. It's also like pretty similar body position. The bike for me now is starting to feel a bit more like an extension of my body. And that is just this level of awareness that I have with my bike as I do with my skis. Um, I think I'm a better skier than I am a walker. Biking's kind of starting to feel that way. My style of biking is pretty similar to my style of skiing. I think I love going fast. There's all these fun little side hits and different ways you can read the trail. That playfulness and those little like shifties like on your skis and kind of trying to hang it out on your bike a little bit, that all feels so fun. I think I probably feel more adrenaline on my bike going fast than I do on my skis to be honest. Pretty fun park here. It's really nice to have this in your backyard. Timing is evident when you're in the mountains, and I like to be able to ski as many laps as possible. And so yeah, that endurance, that cardio-based training, having that foundation going into ski season that I build from biking, essentially I like just getting ready for the winter. It's really transferable, it's awesome. It felt like the right time to enter into my first enduro, the Trans Cascadia, which is a mountain bike race up in the Pacific Northwest, and it takes place over six days, and it's about four to 6,000 vert of climbing every single day. I definitely want to feel fit enough to drop in and not feel worked from the climbs. For the endurance cardio part of it, I like built out a little gym and have a nice little program. Hopefully it pays off. I'm already noticing it for sure on the bike, just feeling more power and more strength. And then for the downhill part, what I'm really excited about is I bought a pass to the bike park at North Star in Tahoe. And basically the whole purpose of that was to get as much descent time as possible. And riding the lift, you're just making laps and getting, you know, 10 times as much descending as you would if you just went out to ride. Biking's really been the one activity that I found to bring my muscles completely back after injuries. And it's a good way for me to kind of stay mentally sharp too and be like, okay, I can do this and build that confidence up, which is really cool to get in the summertime. We did it. Mental health to me is equally as important, if not more important than physical health. If I'm not like totally feeling sound and right in my head, then I can't perform on my skis. No matter the season, I think being in nature helps me connect back to things that really matter to me in my life. It's my playground, it tests me. I learn a lot of my like biggest life lessons from the mountains specifically, but also from all these different elements that are all around us. In a lot of ways, nature has been very healing for me. is definitely the centerpiece of Lake Tahoe. It might be the bluest and the deepest lake and the most clear lake in the world. The lake itself is so refreshing. I try to jump in it every day. You can do all kinds of fun things. You can surf behind a boat. You can just jump in to wash the mountain bike off you. It's just this place where you can kind of refresh your mind, take a break, a nice little pause, check in, and, and just enjoy the beauty of it. Oh, it's kind of chilly. That feels so good to get in the water. So much fun. Good way to end the day. I think I really enjoy taking the mental break after the winter time. You got it. I like it. <laughs> Snow 
melts and eventually it goes away and skiing's gone for a while and you kind of it forces you to take a step back. I really appreciate the seasons. Everything seems new and exciting even if you're skiing every single year. It's like this refreshing, I don't know, this new beginning every year. Every time the snow falls it gets me excited. One thing that I've always told myself with skiing is that it's my favorite thing that I do in my entire life and it's always going to be fun and remain fun. Being in the moment with your friends and the outdoors, that's something that always brings me joy.